So if we now open up Grasshopper and Rhino, I'll be showing you guys how these Boolean operations are implemented in Topologic as components. And this will hopefully help you understand and visualize the difference between non-regular and regular Boolean operations. So the first example that we'll be looking at is union. However, with union, there are two components in Topologic which represent it, topology.merge and topology.union. They both are different. So one represents a non-regular operation and the other a regular operation. But I won't reveal to you which is which just yet. Let's look at them together and try to figure out the difference. But before we can start, we actually have to create the inputs and convert them to topology. So let's start with that. So we will just be working with two boxes, as in the table in order to not confuse ourselves. So when loading the geometry, I'm going to internalize it because this will help us view our results better later on. And with that done, we can actually get to the interesting part. So first, from geometry to topology, then we use the component by geometry. And now we come to our Boolean operations. So we have dot topology dot union. And we also have topology dot merge. And these components can also be found in the toolbar over here. So to, under Toplogic, Topology, and then we have Merge right over here and Union just below. Now, one way we can try to spot the difference between these two Boolean operations is to look at what results they deliver us. So in Topology.Union, we get a cell, while in Topology.Merge, we get a cell complex. Now, when we think about the class hierarchy of a uh, topologic, a cell complex consists of multiple cells. And in non-regular Boolean operations, we partition the body into multiple cells, while in regular operation, we just have one cell. So this could already show us that topology.merge is actually maybe non-regular because we have multiple cells which build a cell complex, while in union we only have one cell. But first, maybe let's look at the geometry it delivers us to us. So we have to convert it first to geometry, so we do topology.geometry. And at the beginning, let's just focus on topology.union. So if I bake this geometry, I will actually see that I only have one cell, right? And that means I can rotate it, move it around, but it always stays connected as one. On the other hand, if I now bake topology.merge, so it's underlying geometry, I'll be left with something a bit different. Because this time, if I click this result, it won't be joined. This time I'll be able to pull it apart into three different cells. And this is the difference between topology.merge and topology.union, and generally with regular and non-regular Boolean operations. In non-regular Boolean operations, because these internal walls are retained, it partitions our body into multiple cells and thus where we end up with a cell complex, for instance. While with regular Boolean operations, because these internal walls are removed, we join them together into one cell. So now we know that topology.union is the regular Boolean operation of union in topologic, and topology.merge is the non-regular Boolean operation of union in topologic. Now we come over to topology.difference, and in the last video, I compared it to subtraction, and let me demonstrate why. So dot difference. And if we connect these inputs and then look at the result, we can delete this 
And if we bake this, this is what we're, we end up with. And now comparing this to the previous geometry we have, we can see that what we end up it with is if this is our second geometry that we just that we took away from these two geometries together the intersecting part as well as the other geometry and now if it is subtraction it will produce a different result if we connect the geometries in a different way or the topologies so if i now connect this first one and as the second one and the second one as the first one i will get a totally different result because 4 minus 2 is not the same as 2 minus 4. So what I actually end up with is this type of geometry over here. And this is actually very interesting because I could construct the our starting geometry with these two pieces. So this is just an interesting part I wanted to point out. So remember, topology that difference is always subtraction. And the way you connect your inputs does play a big role. And this is also true for the next component we'll be looking at. Topology.impose. So if I'm just going to connect the inputs over here, we actually find out that we're working with a cell complex. So from our previous explanation, we come to the conclusion it is a non-regular Boolean operation. Now what does this mean and how does this look like? So let's look at the result. But remember, before we can do that, we always first have to convert it to geometry first. So what we get is two cells. One looks something like that and the other like this. So what actually happened is that this intersecting area becomes part of one of the geometries. So we no longer have an intersecting area, we have two cells and this intersecting area becomes either part of the first input or the second one. So this must mean that if we change the order of the inputs that we get a different result. And yes, that is the case. Let me just demonstrate this really quickly. If I now say this goes here and this goes over here and I'll just move this and I'll bake this once again. Once again, when I look at the result, I have a cell complex. And once again, I will have two cells. However, this time I will have kind of a hole over here, but this time this will be closed. So this is also something to just keep in mind. And also, especially when we have components which have topology and tool, that means that tool is the one responsible for carrying out the operation. In this case, we always notice that the input that is the tool is the one that is being changed. So how it gets the intersecting part, if I may say so. And that is impose. Now, if we move o on over to a topology dot in print, we might see something similar yet completely different. Now that, that sounds confusing, so I'll demonstrate it to you as well. So if I'll just connect these two together, I'll just steal this component from over here, and we don't need these anymore. What will happen is I will end up with two cells or a cell complex. And because I have more than one cell, so two, I'm working with a non-regular Boolean operation. And what this represents is we can see here our starting geometry looked something like this. So the only part that kind of got well, deleted is not important, is not demonstrated, is the second part, so the tool. The tool basically is there for finding the intersecting area, however, it will not be demonstrated in the end result, will not be portrayed in the end result. So once again, when we switch the results, we will get completely different. If we switch the inputs, we will get a completely different result. So let's move that to the side and bake this. And once again, exactly the opposite. So now I want to go over to topology.slice where I think the concept of a tool is demonstrated or explained 
the easiest because in case in the case of topology.slice what we want to do is take an object or a box and for example cut it in half and now the tool is not really the box by itself it is of a different dimensionality in sense of also in the class hierarchy but also it is kind of a knife that slices through the object so in this case we can't use our usual two inputs but we need to use a surface so let's just um, do that really quickly we don't need this anymore so let's head over to, so now let's start with drawing the um, surface. And actually, let me just go ahead and grab one of these geometries over here so we know where we should draw the surface. Over here, and I'll just move it a bit. Yeah, perfect. And therefore, I'll just take this input and move it down, scooch it down a bit. And we need to decide and load our surface into Grasshopper and then convert it into topology. And then this is our tool while the box is the actual topology that wants to be sliced or that we want to be to slice. And then at the end, if I'll just internalize the surface and I can delete it, in the end, if we bake our result, we will see that we end up with, let's, that we end up with two boxes that I can pull apart and they build two beautiful cells or in other words, a cell complex. And this therefore it is a regular Boolean operation this time because this time we split the body into multiple bodies. So we're no longer working with one, but two bodies over here. But now let's move on to our last example. So topology.intersect. So I think from the concept to understand, it is the easiest because what we're trying to do is just find the overlapping area, the intersecting area. And in order to do that, we actually need to connect the geometry that we had at the beginning. So this and this over here <laughs> and now we're just gonna do this and then we're gonna actually first we need to delete this and then we can bake our result and in order to understand that this is the intersecting area if I'm just gonna highlight these over here we can see that over here what we're looking at is exactly the intersecting area However, when we actually look at the result, so the type of topology we're working with, we might be a little bit surprised because it is a cluster. And the reason why is that we actually don't only have a cell, but also a curve. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now at the end, just a little fun fact or a little side note, there's also a component which does the exact opposite of topology.intersect, and it is called topology. Xor. And if we connect our two topologies, what it will do is, oops, what it, what it will do is basically deliver us all the geometries except the intersecting area. So if I move those just down here and I'll bake our result from topology.xor, what you will see is that if I go over to Rhino now, and pull these apart, I will have these outer shells in, in which we don't have the intersecting area. And that was just some information I thought you guys would want to have. And then it was everything for today. Thank you very much for watching and I'd be grateful for any feedback you might have. And until next time, bye!